Hey guys, um, it is Easter morning. It's actually midnight. <laughs> um, but the Holy Spirit has been speaking to me the past couple days, actually, um, about Easter and the Easter message and some things that need to be discussed. This isn't your typical Easter message, um, so I would um, buckle up. <laughs> no, it's really good. It's great. Um, it's truth, and it needs to be spoken, and God wants to get things out. Um, but some things that God is showing me is um, just things that the the church is doing with the message of Easter and just the way people look at it. And um, I want to clarify some things. So the resurrection, I feel like, is really what people focus on. And I am 100% letting you know that the resurrection happened. Jesus died on the cross. He rose on the third day. He's in heaven and he is coming back. Okay, let me clarify that before I go any further so there's no confusion here. He's coming back and the resurrection happened. But we focus so much on the resurrection and we're not focusing on the sole purpose of, of Easter. Okay, it's more than the resurrection. The devil tries to so hard for us to focus on that and to not focus on the cross. Because, and I'm not taking anything away from the resurrection, okay? Because God is sh was showing us that we have power. He has the, the power of all power. The power to raise from the dead. To give us life, okay? But, we need to focus on the cross for a minute. Okay, Jesus came and God sent his one and only son. Why? For our sin. For our sin. And it's not something to be joked around with. It's not something to be played around with. I mean, I think we take that so lightly. And we don't really take time to really fully understand. Jesus didn't die on the cross for us to be lukewarm. He didn't die on the cross for us to be in the world and then repent. Be in the world and then repent. Like, no. He came so we could live a sin-free life. So we could repent. Repent means to stop what you are doing. To walk away from what you are doing. We need to consecrate ourselves to God. We need to stop to stop and really think about the gift that we have. Repentance is a gift from God. There are people who are in hell for eternity who do not have the gift of repentance that we have here on earth. God has given us the ability and the gift of repentance. And he sent his son for us to do it. And we can't live lukewarm. We can't be in sin. It's not good. It's going to keep us from inheriting the kingdom of God. We need to really take time to reflect. And I think that Christians are so... The term, you know, Jesus died on the cross, it's, so, it's said so lightly. It's said with no delicacy. We need to stop and really think and ask ask God to show us God make me understand the importance of God on, of G, of Jesus dying on the cross help me to fear you God because we can't do it ourselves we can't and we need to want him more than anything we need to really understand the importance of Jesus on the cross and it's something that God had to do in my life. Um, I didn't really under. I was in sin. I'd repent and then I would sin. And it, God broke my heart one day. broke my heart down. And I was just in my room sobbing my eyes out because he, he opened my mind. I wasn't blind. He opened my mind to really see what Jesus did on the cross for us. We have to ask him to show us or we'll just keep going back to sin. And if you really want, really want 
to stop, trust me. If you ask God, he will more than gladly show you the importance. And he'll open your heart to see it. But I know this isn't the typical message, but we need to understand. And it's played down and down and down and down and down. Um, because the devil wants us in sin. He wants us to be think that lukewarm, being lukewarm is okay. The Bible says that Jesus or God will spit the lukewarm out of his mouth. Um, this is nothing to be joked about. You guys, Jesus is coming back any second. He can come back right now. You need to move from your ways. People say, oh, just this one last time or just, but when he comes back, there's not going to be a last time. He, there's not going to be a last time. What if he comes back when when you know you're we love god but we have to stop sin and you know there's this there's this um misunderstanding that just because you love god but you're in sin doesn't mean you're going to inherit the kingdom of god it's a deception it's a deception of the enemy and if you're watching this god loves you he wants you to live sin free he does he wants nothing more for you. When you're sin free, you are it is the most amazing, beautiful feeling in the world, but you have to ask him to help you. We can't do it ourselves. So I just pray that God will start to show you what the the real the realness of Je of Jesus dying on that cross for you. So you can get out of your sin. You can get out of your bondage. And you. You can move on. And you can know. That you are working every day. To be his servant. And to be out of sin. And so you don't have to worry. So you know that you're ready. You know that you're ready. When Jesus comes back. You are ready. And you don't have to stress. Am I going? Am I not? No. God doesn't want us to live like that. He doesn't, he doesn't want us to live as lukewarms. Um, but I love you guys. I know that this is probably a different message. Um, yes, I'm going to talk about God's truth. If he speaks something to me, I'm going to say it. If, if um, I'm very careful with the things that I say um, because he uses me as a vessel. Um, and this is just what was on his heart.